Hello guys, my name is Diego Pacheco and this is another Java video. So today I will be talking with you about uh, PowerMark. PowerMark is very interesting uh, solution. It allow you to do basically the impossible. So sometimes we have libraries or piece of software that someone in your team might uh, do, which um, uses static or final, and these things are um, known to be impossible to test. However, it's possible to test with PowerMock. So let's take a look how we can do the impossible and test static final both together uh, deeply um, with PowerMock, right? So PowerMock um, has support for Gradle, for Maven. It has uh, support to work with EasyMock and Mokito. Um, Mokito too, um, it's been advertised that they will support this, but right now it's kind of a clumsy. It really doesn't work very well. So here you can see that I have integration from PowerMock to, um, to, to JUnit. And also, I have um, PowerMock with Mokito, right? Uh, you cannot have PowerMock and, with Mokito and EasyMock on the same project. You kind of need to have two different projects if you want to play with it. So in one project, either you use uh, PowerMock with Mokito or you use PowerMock with EasyMock. So I'm going to do with Mokito. So that's my pawn. So JUnit, there's an integration between PowerMock and JUnit and Mokito. That's Power, uh, PowerMock Mokito. PowerMock brings Mokito, so you don't need to add Mokito separate, and that's it. There's three dependencies in your pawn, and you're good to go. So here, I have a bunch of uh, implementations. So I have a calculator final, uh, which is a final class, which has a final method. This is hard to test. And also, I have a static class, with, which, which is also... Um, sorry, I have a final class, which has a method, which is also final and static. That's the worst case to, to testing. Uh, then I have a project called result where uh, you have two variables and the sum of these two variables. Um, we have full and empty constructor, getter setters equals hash code to string, so standard POJO. And also I have this other class called history calculator where I do the sum, um, but also return my POJO with the result of the parameters and the result, right? So in my tests, I have uh, two flavors to show you here. The first one, we're gonna mock static and final and that will work, right? In order to do that, we need to use this annotation prepare for test from PowerMock. And either you can pass an array of classes or um, you can pass sort of a, a package where you can use wild uh, cards like this, right? And, um, what you do is pretty simple, right? So we have a test here, as you can see, add test. Then you're gonna use this static function called mock static. And then you're gonna pass your static class. Then you're gonna do when, like regular Mokito. Then you're gonna call your static class. So I'm calling my class sun with one and one. And then I'm saying I wanna get three, all right? If you take a look on my static calculator, right? Uh, one plus one should be two, not three. So I'm, I'm putting three here by default. So you know if that's true, my mock is not working. And then here, I'm calling my code, right? And I'm expecting to get three. So let me run this code. And as you can see, it works, all right? Uh, as you can realize, power mock is a, a bit slower uh, than regular uh, Mokito, right? Uh, but um, if you don't have an insane huge code base, that's kind of uh, acceptable. So that's how you can do tests that are very hard to do before. And also uh, you can do that deeply. So imagine something like uh, this, for instance. Um, let's take a look on my calculator static again. So if you take a look calculator static, uh, it just does um, the static calculation, right? It gets two numbers and does the sum, right? Um, if you look uh, my final, 
it just does the same, right? However, if you look at my history calculator, it calls the static one, right? So there's one final um, static method calling another final static class with a static method. So th th there's some kind of a dip. Uh, you can even go as many levels as you want, right? Um, and that's possible to mock and to test as well. So basically, um, here um, I'm mocking uh, the history calculator, right? And I'm saying when the history calculator is called with one and one, the result should be uh, zero, right? And then I'm calling one and one, right? And as you can see here, I'm not calling the history calculator. Um, sorry, um, I'm calling the history calculator here, right? And uh, what I expect, it is um, the result here um, be zero, right? But um, you, you need to see that if you look my history calculator, it's delegating to the static one, right? So if my mock's not working, the sum will be done and will be equals two, not equals zero, right? And here I can test. So let me run and you can see uh, it works, right? So as you can see, I can test uh, deeply on the stack and uh, it works uh, very well. So that's what I got for today. As you can see, power mock is interesting too. Uh, sometimes, you know, if you, some tests are very hard to do. If you need to deal with static final, um, if you need to do that deeply on your stack, power mock can help you uh, there. So that's what I have for today. I hope you guys like it. See you next time. Cheers.